Evolutionists claim that the Earth is millions and billions of years old. The Bible tells us it's only 6,000 years old. Evolutionists claim that coal formed during the Carboniferous period, they say 300 to 360 million supposed years ago. But did it? What is the correct interpretation of what we see in the ground? Now here you see a photograph, and here is a pure layer of anthracite coal. This is the hardest, densest, bestest coal there is. That's the really good stuff. And here we see about a two foot thick layer of anthracite coal. Now you only find coal and oil between uh, sedimentary rock or layers of dried out mud. Now here we actually see layers of dried out mud below and layers of dried out mud above. And you only find natural coal, natural oil, natural gas between layers of sedimentary rock or between layers of dried out mud. Now anybody who knows anything about the formation of coal will tell you. It takes 10 foot of dead plant in one material, all in one place, all at one time, with enough material on top of that to compress it down to one foot in thickness to get anthracite coal. So you have to take 10 foot of dead plant and wood material, compress it to one foot to get anthracite coal. Here's the problem for the evolutionists. You see, in the states of Utah, Colorado, and Wyoming in the United States, we find pure layers of anthracite coal 200 foot thick and below that 300 foot thick. Now let's think, that means you would have to have a layer of dead plant and wood material 2,000 foot thick all in one place, all at one time without any decay and enough uh, dried out mud or drying out mud on top of that to compress it down to 200 feet. Or you'd have to have 3,000 feet of dead plant and wood material all in one place, all at one time with enough material on top of that to compress it down to 300 feet to get these coal seams that we find in the United States. I would suggest to you only a worldwide flood can do that.